Oh, jeez. <sighs> Whoa, hey guys. Sorry, it's been like two weeks since I've seen you. Things were a little hectic around here. Um, if you follow us here on Facebook, which I'm assuming you do, uh, you see that we have a new administrative assistant. Her name is Carrie, and hopefully she'll join me on here sometime so you'll get to meet her. Um, but I wanted to share with you the latest mystery um, that I uh, that came to me and then I figured out the answer. So, as you know, we are getting rid of items in our collection. Uh, we're kind of processing everything and seeing what actually works for us in our space, what actually um, has to do with Chagrin Falls. And um, so um, this is where that goes. And this is a high school graduation invitation. It is from 1900 and it is from East Liverpool High School. And it was the, um, the graduate was Pearl Elizabeth Shive. And Zoza Cora, our awesome photo archivist, um, gave this to me to send to the East Liverpool Historical Society since we don't really need a high school invite or graduation invitation for a non-chagrin school. It's like, okay, cool. So that was on my desk, which can get a little messy. And meanwhile, Laura had given um, us a, some books that we could get rid of that, again, have nothing to do with Chagrin Falls or the Valley in general. And one of them was this really cool um, geography book. And it actually um, was copyrighted in um, 1869. And as I'm going through this, I'm like, well, this is really kind of cool, you know? And the really cool part is all of the writing inside. And, you know, I'm just thinking back to when I was in school and you write little notes or you, you know, write your name with your crush's name and like things like that. And um, I was just kind of curious. And this here, clearly you can see Columbiana County, Ohio. So, and you can see here, to me, it looked like Splatonia, Ohio, but it's Latonia, Ohio. And so I did some searching and you can, um, obviously, Latonia, Ohio is in Columbiana County. And you can kind of see this name here. And here you see the initials JMS. And I was like, this is interesting. Let me see if they want this back. Like maybe this is someone, a name, a family name that they know. And... So I emailed Columbiana County Historical Society and asked them that. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, that name's familiar. As you recall from two minutes ago, the invitation for the high school graduation of Pearl Shive. So right away I went to Ancestry and I found out that Pearl's parents were Martha and Jonas Shive. And Jonas, um, would have been around 11 years old in 1869. And this is his geography textbook from when he was in school. And when you look in here, you also see that there's, again, an accession number right here, 83.7. And on the back of the invitation is 82.30.1. So I went to the curator's notebook for the 80s. It's treasure trove. And in here we have donations from Mrs. Charles Day. Uh, her first name was Winifred. And her and Charles lived on North Main Street. And she donated so much stuff to us. We actually have Pearl's wedding dress. We have, um, if you were here for our quilt exhibit back um, in early spring, uh, we actually have a couple of the, her quilts. There's actually, actually textile coverlets. We have one, two, three, we have a lot of other things from that family and it was just so cool to just this unknown connection between these two items and that was 
a very cool find. And now I can put these two items together and send them to Columbia in a county um, or maybe even a family, a descendant who might want um, this history from their family. And uh, yeah, so happy History Mystery Monday, guys. And I will see you next week.